Heavy equipment continues to roll across what was Rosewood Courts in East Austin. It's been two years since the groundbreaking that came with the completion date targeted for the fall of 2024. Little is left from what was one of the first, if not the first, public housing complexes for African Americans. The transition to what will be called Pathways at Rosewood Courts is a multi-million dollar endeavor for the Austin Housing Authority. Absolutely. I mean, this is the next chapter. Chief Operating Officer Sylvia Blanco says supply chain and labor issues following the pandemic delayed completion for this new chapter. So now our, our new timeline is uh, we'll have the first building available for occupancy by uh, mid-2025, and we should wrap up having the entirety of, of the site open by the end of 2025. A few of the original Rosewood units are the only things still standing that currently resemble homes. The remaining eight are being refurbished. And um, we've also removed the, uh, the pitch roofs that had been added on over the years. So now it's, it's the original roofs. As, as we like to say, you know, if LBJ himself were here, uh, he would recognize the, the buildings. Most of the site is going through a total redesign. Walls have started going up for one of three apartment buildings, which will provide 184 new units, 60 more than what were available. The apartment homes will range in size from studio to four bedrooms. There will also be 12 townhomes, which will be sold as affordable housing. Our Rosewood families and our other families that we serve throughout our portfolio will get the first priority in being able to, to purchase one of these affordable townhomes. When you say affordable, what kind of price point are we talking about? We're talking about under 300000 Are you worried about interest rates and how that may factor into affordability? You know, that is a, a, a huge issue for, for everyone. We're in partnership with Habitat for Humanity, and they have very strong uh, ties with, with lenders who, um, who know the mission. Planning for this redevelopment started about 10 years ago and at times was viewed with skepticism from some community advocates. Blanco says the new neighborhood will honor the past and will provide new opportunities. We look forward to celebrating together on a ribbon cutting, um, hopefully by this time next year.